So we'll do an unboxing and review of the Moen Preston brushed nickel finish towel ring. This was purchased off of Amazon.com for right around $10. If you'd like to pause this and enlarge the screen so you can view that, feel free. We'll go ahead and open everything up and see what all comes with so it. So fairly simple unboxing. Um, inside of the box, all you've got are your instructions and the actual towel ring itself. It does come with all the mounting equipment in there. Um, you have to use this uh, flathead screwdriver to get your mounting equipment out but it does have everything in there okay so after you use the flathead screwdriver to pull this screw out you've got your two drywall anchors your two screws and then your mounting bracket as well so we'll go ahead and show you how uh, how to install this really quickly so this is where we'll be installing it um, this is in the laundry room we've got a slop sink or a utility sink you can see we just put up a a, a gojo soap dispenser so this towel ring Obviously, we'll hold a towel to use to dry our hands afterwards. So we've got a level so we can try and make sure we're vertical, up and down as much as possible. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the next This steps. is the hardware that's provided. You'd need to drill into the drywall. So you'd need a drill and a drill bit. You would push this into the hole. Then you would put this up on the wall and screw these in behind. I'm actually going to use these drywall bolts or drywall anchors because these you can actually just with a screwdriver put them into the wall so it's a little bit easier for me because I don't have to break out a drill um, it's nap time so I've got two little ones sleeping so this will be a little bit quieter these are also rated for up to 75 pounds so it's a and you can see how much of a difference it is in terms of bulk, this will definitely be an upgrade. Not that I'm really worried about this towel ring having any kind of force on it. So either. I don't care too much about making this 100% um, perfect. I'm just gonna eyeball about where I think I would like it. Um, just kind of trying to keep it somewhat symmetric in relation to the soap dispenser in the sink. So that might be good if it's hanging down. That's fine, because there'll be a towel hanging down too, so some of this visual space will be taken up. All right, so we want it somewhere around here. So what we'll do is make a little mark here. So we know that this is where our top bracket is. And then bring it Okay, up. so I got a little bit shorter level here. And get this. Again, you can be very, very detailed with this. As long as it's 90% even, that's all I care about. It's just going to be my family in here, so I don't care a whole ton. Make just a couple of marks there. I don't care 100%, you know, about it being dead on level. That should be centered there. So basically we just use that level to give us a, a, a straight line, vertical, and then from here I just eyeballed where I think the center points are. Basically I traced the outside edge of this top bracket. You can see it a little bit darker. From there I took the level and got this straight up and down line, and then just added a little couple hash marks where I felt like the center of this top hole and this bottom hole were. And then from there we can from there we can take our drywall bolts just push them in and go ahead and screw those. So now we'll put our bracket up and our screws right over that. Should be able to start them by hand at first just to get them both in. Once they're both close to being snow, you just want to make sure one more time that you're lined up as level as you can get. All right, so now that's on. Go ahead and slide this on. And then from there, the last thing to do is tighten this up, and then you should be done. All right. 
So I'm too lazy to go out to the garage and get a uh, flat head, so I'm just going to use this knife here. You can tell there's a common theme of me being lazy. All right. So that looks pretty good. That's on there. And the real test is does it hold a towel? And it does. There you go. We can make this a little bit more pretty. Here we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. All right. So it holds up the towel. It feels extremely sturdy. The finish and fit of it is pretty nice. This could be plastic. Yeah, it sounds like it is plastic, but it's got a very nice finish on it. So, you know, from this distance, you wouldn't think it's plastic. Honestly, even close up, it doesn't look plastic. Uh, again, that was about 10 bucks. So I'm very happy with it. Five stars.